2016, we watched a little clip. A man called John, and he gave us a little tip. This blue dot Texan, he really likes to yell, and most of the time it's two tailed on each. For some own reason, Nancy doesn't reach. Nadler said we could take him by surprise. If we just found his taxes, we could find out all his lies. Now we call our congressman every single day. But now the money always gets in the way. Blue Dot family is very, very strong. Blue Dot family, we're always having fun. You like my story and you really think it rhymes. I think my Blue Dot family should sing it one more time. So my story's over and it really gotta go. Cause I just see John. John and say, are you shitting me? Are you shitting me? You can always find a reason to say that. Hello, Val Wood. How are you? Joy Peters is here. Alicia Thomas. Michael McConville. We're glad you stopped. Hey, there's Joe Stroker. Uh, we're glad you all stopped in. Danny Thompson and uh, Bonnie Childs is there, baby. We appreciate you all coming by, baby. It's, uh, it's Thursday. It's the day before our our religious holiday that would be beer and bud thir uh, friday beer and bud friday so y'all prepare for that but uh i'm glad y'all have a chance to step in and, and, and spend a little time with us which is the most important thing that you give to us and we got some gifts in the mail today baby and i'm feeling mighty good donna bonacosi sent me a nice package today and had some nice little things in there for mama a necklace and uh and uh uh some beauty things some facial and and stuff for her face and and uh i can't remember you can't remember the other stuff well i mean you know while you think about that i also got to thank her for this awesome hat hey that's check this. check travis's hat out that is from donna bonacosi also i'm trying to remember yeah. what else she said oh you some chocolate she sent she sent some really nice chocolate there you go makes life easier <laughs> It makes life nice. Anyway, what's going on today? Well, Donnie's on his way to Baltimore right now. We, I just seen a little hint of him getting on the helicopter, having his chopper talk out there. And uh, But I didn't get a chance to stop and watch the whole thing uh, because I had to get ready for to come come on the show. But uh, today's big day. Uh, old Nadler, Jerry Nadler on the Judiciary Committee, uh, formally put in, mo in motion the impeachment investigation. We're in an impeachment investigation now. What's that? Is that like an impeachment inquiry? Ah, well, maybe, maybe not. It's hum hauling around again, and uh, they're slow walking it, I guess. Uh, I, you know, I keep thinking there's a reason for that shit. Uh, the one reason is it, it, this is where I'm going to go with it. This is because the the investigation is into corruption, obstruction, and abuse of power, which I don't think there's a problem proving any of it. The Mueller report uh, clearly defined 10 acts of obstruction of justice. We could start there, but throw in all the other shit that we've learned since then. Abuse of power, yes. The uh, emollients clause, oh, hell yes. Making money off the government, you bet your ass he is. But what gets me is is the fact that uh, we're getting... they were the, the Republicans 
and the Judiciary Committee today were daring the Republic, I mean the Democrats, to impeach. I, we're double dog dare what some asshole over there on the Republican side was standing up there saying, I double dog dare you to do it. They're daring us to impeach the asshole. They might they, they must feel mighty, mighty confident, I'm telling you. Uh and, and, and we're at 135 Democrats of now on, in favor of impeachment. And the other ones, well, here's the deal with the other ones. Here's our problem, is we don't know what the law is, evidently. Because, you know, just because it's written in the Constitution, just because it says something in the, in the Code of Federal Regulations, doesn't really mean it counts all to That's what they're telling us. Is, is he in viola violation of the Emollients Clause? Let's find out. I believe so. As a citizen of this country, I believe he is in violation. Is, did he obstruct justice? I believe there was 10 counts of it in the Mueller report. How much more do you need? Corruption. Do I need say anything other than the word itself? Are you shitting me? Is he corrupt? Are you shitting me? Yes, he's corrupt. So, Okay. Let's assume I'm right. Let's assume maybe John's got a pea brain in there somewhere and can, and, and can see something, like the rest of America. What pisses me off is the mealy mouth ones that, that aren't in favor of it, that are hum hauling around, that that's what's making the Democrats look weak as well. You know, you haven't even got your whole party on board. And why? I'm going to tell you why, and it pisses me off why. Those Democrats that are not on the on board for impeachment, that are hum hauling around and making excuses and saying, I don't know, you know, the, the Republicans, they're going to get mad. Yeah, every one of them are in, in, in uh, purple districts. They're, 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 they're a, a large population of uh, Republicans in their districts, and they don't want to piss them off. They don't want to lose their election by supporting the law. That's the way I'm looking at it right now. You're more, you're more interested in your election, the next election to keep your ass in office rather than to stand up for what the damn Constitution says, what our laws say, while we watch this country descend every damn day into the toilet while somebody's throwing in tidy bowl and flushing it. That's what we're looking like all over the damn world. And why? Because we do have a corrupt president. We do have a president that has obstructed justice and has abused his office and feathered his nest, lined his pockets on the taxpayer's dime, baby. Yours, mine. Who the hell's paying for that little stop over there at the Trump Hotel and Bribe Collection Center? We are, baby. We are. And it pisses me off. There's, there's a decision to be made, but it's not whether or not you win your next election. That's what's wrong with this whole damn country is, we, is our politicians are not interested in the laws. They're not, uh, they're not interested in, in forging a path forward. They're busy making collection calls. The ones that are in there want to stay. The ones that ain't there want to get there. Once they get there, they got to get in the phone banks and start raising money because it's all about the money. It has nothing to do with the, 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 the freedoms of this country. Are to, you shouldn't be today, today. Today, the, the Donnie the Dictator administration rolled back the clean waters of the United States rules, uh, uh, rule, uh, statute that Obama put in place, limiting what you could do to a river or a lake or a stream. Well, guess what? Donnie said, get that shit out of here. As of today, corporations no longer need to apply for a permit to let us know what they're dumping in there and how much they're dumping in there. And they showed a picture of, a, uh, of an oil rig that's sitting up here in Port, up, up, by, up by Houston, I believe it was. And uh, starting today, baby, <laughs> all those loose chemicals they got laying around, and there's tons of them on a rig. Well, you can just wash them right off into the bay. Don't worry about it. There's no more regulation in saying how much chemicals we can dump in your stream, in your lake, in your river. Who gives a shit? The planet's dying anyway. Let's make some money. That's the kind of shit. That goes on every day in its administration. One regulation, one rule at a time, baby. While he destroys our planet and destroys our nation. And you're wondering about, oh, how's your next election going to go? If you, if you stand up for impeachment, if you stand up against this man, you're more worried about your damn election than you are this country. That pisses me off. That is not what this is supposed to be out. There are no more Mr. Smiths go to Washington. 
There's nobody going to stand on the floor and demand accountability like we saw in the movies. No, we see Ted Cruz reading green eggs and ham. That's what we're treated to, a disgrace. I'm tired of watching our, our, our leaders cower on this subject. Either we do it or we just admit that it's all a bullshit story, that, that lawmakers and, and politicians can get away with anything they want if they've got the right amount of money and connections. Because that's what it looks like to the rest of us out here. All of a sudden, Jeffrey Epstein's dead. Oh, no shit. Oh, his guard died of a heart attack. He's 51. Oh, man, ain't that ter terrible. Now, I'm not saying that. I'm just saying that shit happens. Conveniently in the right places sometimes. It just makes you wonder. But we don't have to wonder about one thing. <laughs> Washington, D.C. is hacked like shit. They got what they call stingrays all over the place in, in Washington, D.C. Stingray is a, is, a, is a device, evidently, that acts like a cell tower. It's put in there by spies. You know, the thing that Donnie doesn't believe in. Donnie don't want no spies. We can't be spying on nobody. Ah, well, they're damn sure busy spying on us. Who could be spying on you? Who? Who could be spying on the United States? Well, it seems our, our intel community has, a, has an idea, and it's Israel. It's, and now Netanyahu came out today. I saw him. Oh, no, 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 it's not us. We don't believe in that shit. Not under my watch. Same shit that Donnie's singing. Bullshit. And, you know, I'm tired of, 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 of people, our government, not putting the faith in our intelligence systems anymore. We went through a hell of a shit with George Bush throwing lies up there all over the place. We can't have that again. I don't want lies. Anyway, Donnie's going to, yeah, all around D.C. They act like a little cell telephone. Capture cell phone traffic, baby, anywhere. And, and, and if they could listen to anybody, no telling what kind of information they could get. Netanyahu is going to come up for an election pretty soon. And this time, I hope he loses like hell. I hope they just put him down in flames. Crash. Because the man is, is being egged on by the, like, the likes of the people in our house. I was very disappointed the other day when I saw Netanyahu standing out there talking about, yep, we're going to take a little bit more of the, the West Bank here. A little, bit of, a little bit of the West Bank. We're going to take that. No. If you keep chipping away, there is no two-state shit. And if there ain't no two say shit, say so. But no. Hack a little at a time. Hack a little at a time. But yep, I guess they know everything Donnie's doing because Donnie doesn't believe in a secure telephone. He whips out his old cell phone all the time. Dinga, dinga, dinga. Is that mine doing dinga, dinga? Yeah, I believe that's yours doing dinga, oh, dinga. Oh, I'm sorry. You're supposed to mute that. Yeah, well. I don't Look know. at that professional. It's a new phone. I don't know how to mute it yet. Here, let me mute it for you. I was going to. Anyway. Donnie's in Baltimore, in the rat-infested, horrible, horrible place of Baltimore. I wonder what kind of reception he's getting tonight. Not much of one. Anyway, we, uh, we appreciate T.W. Travis, his voice in, in his music at the beginning of our show. But uh, we have another Blue Dot family member, uh, um, um, Jacob, uh, I dug it. Jacob Burhau. 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 Burhau? I believe that's how you pronounce it. I believe it, it is. I honestly keep saying Burke. Is there there's not a K in there, is it? No, no. no. Jacob Burhau. He's been a he's been a uh a blue dot friend for a long, long time. Uh well over a year. Uh and uh and he and he wrote and is gonna play a song and I wanted y'all to, to get a uh, listen to it. It's uh it, it it's not a feel good, happy song, baby. But it asks important questions and, and, and makes you think. So without further ado, here's Jacob Burhal singing his song, U.S. of Hate.
quite a statement. Quite a statement. That's Jacob's song, U.S. of Hate. And I have no doubt that this evening up in Baltimore, Donnie will get up in his little pedestal up there and speak as much hate as he can possibly dig up. You know, it, 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 it's a question that... Uh, ta-da! Uh, I have no idea what the hell that one was. Oh, well, it snuck in. It's a powerful song, and, and you can tell uh, Jacob sings it that way. And uh, the minute I heard it, I liked it. Uh, I, I can't deny that it even brings up a little bit of, of, of self-reflection uh, because I don't like to think that I spread hate. But if you listen to my rant just a few minutes ago, it sure did sound like a lot of it. But it's not hate. It's, it's anger. It's anger that's in me, and it's an anger that watching a country so divided on something that should be so clear to all of us is what bothers me. Uh, it's, it's, it's a powerful song, you know, and uh, I congratulate Jacob on it, and uh, I, hope it, I hope it hits out, man. I hope a lot of people listen to it. Uh, we need to get back. We need to get back to that spot where we were, and we were there. Not long ago, not in our ancient history, Jesus, this is modern history, that we, 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 we weren't rid of all of our evils, but we didn't have it all out, in, out in, the, in front of God and everybody like we have now. And we see that in the hate of people. We, you see videos all the time of somebody cussing somebody out because they spoke a different language, because they look different. So that's where my anger comes from and my hate goes to those people who keep propagating that shit those ones I, I can't stand the, the evangelical that tells me that a, that a gay person can't get into heaven or oh my god we can't have a transgender person using the bathroom over here How's, how petty and sick is that mind that that's where they go to not somebody's personality not who they are not how they live their life, not, not their character. Oh, do they have a pecker or not? Ain't up to you to go to look, buddy. There's so much that needs to be corrected in our world to set it on the right path for something better for our future offspring, those that will inherit what we leave. But if we don't fight for it right now, I, I believe we're going to be lost. I, I do believe that. He's writing that song. If we don't fix this, it, it's going to be gone, baby. Can you imagine another four years of his shit destroying regulations and laws for the benefit of corporations and rich people, propagating hate over the world, over a religion or a color? That's the shit. That's the shit that we can't fix until he's gone. And we, we, make it, we make it embarrassing again for people to have that kind of view, for them to stand up and, and, and say some of the shit they say. Send her back. Anyway, that's the way, that's why I, I should be feeling a whole lot better for reasons a lot of reasons. Went to the doctor this morning. Finally went there today. I called yesterday and said, I need to see you. And I got in there today. And sure enough, shit, he came in there and looked at me again. And he said, well, you ready for a new shoulder? I said, well, what I'm ready for is a needle to be shoved in this shoulder because I can't stand it no more. I couldn't sleep last night. It was a hell of a night. And uh, so, yep, uh, went to the doctor today. Got a nice, nice shot in the shoulder. This is a nice little story, I'll tell you. Uh, my doctor, a nice guy, I've had him for years, comes in after the uh, initial exam, what's going on, blah, 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 and all this shit. Okay, we're going to get a shot. Okay, leaves to go get the needle and crap, comes back in with a new doctor. Ah, new doctor. Going to teach the new doctor how to put a needle. I've been down this road before, mind you. How to put the needle in correctly. And I'm, <laughs> again, that, you know, I'm thinking to myself, oh, shit, I hope he hits it because the last new guy that did this didn't. And, uh, Anyway, the, uh, the two doctors are standing over my shoulder, and uh, one, they're rubbing that chemical all over me, you know, to get it all nice and clean, making sure it's 
disinfected real good and all that stuff. Now, I've been through this a lot of times. I know the procedure myself. And they put a little dot there where the needle's going to go, and the other doctor's telling the other doctor, you got to come in at an angle because you feel that up in here. You got to get right up in there. And he says, okay, you ready? And he says, yeah. And he hands him the needle. And the doctor's going, well, no, go a little lower. You're going to have to get an angle. And right then, I did speak up. I said, hey, aren't y'all going to spray that? Because they always come in with this little can of freeze shit. Well, that's what freezes your skin so you don't feel this needle being jabbed right into your joint. And it's an essential part of the process. And, and my, doc, my doctor goes, oh, 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 sheesh. I'm glad you said something. And I'm thinking to myself, yeah, me too. You were fixing to shove that needle in there without that shit. That would have hurt. Uh, but uh, he did. They sprayed me up real good. And the new doctor, uh, I think he did an excellent job. It looked like he, I felt, you know, when it, you know it. For those of you all that have had it, you know when it's in there. And he was in there. And it feels a lot better. And uh, so... Amongst other reasons, I'm feeling pretty good right now, and I should be able to sleep tonight. So that makes me happy as shit. Right, Velda? Right. If we just sleep good for one, <laughs> we're doing good. We're doing good. How's your day going, baby? Um, kind of crappy. Oh, I'm sorry. Well, let's make still it. Still don't have. Oh, no. I still don't have phone. No phone. That's right. I've read your thing. No it's phone. And... They won't be here until Monday. Monday. Oh, God damn, that Monday. sucks. Today's Thursday. And Wayne's got that new pacemaker, that's... and that's got to be transmitted every 24 hours. Yeah, what's up, what's up with that? Did, aren't the, isn't the service aware of that, that, that it's a medical device in the house? That's I w- why it's not the 21st. Uh, boy, howdy. So that, that is, Monday got... is the emergency, huh? We'll get there on Monday. Oh, thanks a lot. Right, I just I've got people lined up. That's over on Facebook, that I can text at any time to call nine one for me if oh, I need it. Yo, baby, that's great. We have a great blue dot family here, and and I'm, I'm yeah. Velda has reached out to a lot of people and met a lot of people, and so have a lot of our blue dot family members have reached out to each other, and met each other and got got. Uh, it's cool. That's I love that part of this shit, is watching the the family grow. But that's good. You don't got a landline. that's my landline that's that's, out I don't have oh shit I'm lucky that the internet is working because it comes in on the same line oh okay well yeah the phone is out Jesus Christ the phone's out but you still have internet thank Uh, god uh, uh, yes I know (laughs) know. the other thing that's pissing me off today what's that is Nancy Mitch McConnell oh no what did she do Go ahead. Nancy Mitch. That's what we're going to call her from now on because they've got Mitch, a Russian Mitch over there. You know, I, I'm a now little... we've got, yeah. I'm a little pissed. I like the fact that she's holding back on. On the impeachment? You cut out. Don't like the fact that she's not going to go through with the impeachment. She, uh, she's again dragging her heels, and that's you know this is what's pissing me off. If if if, if this is all about an election, I don't give a shit it's about an election in a district, or the president, whatever it is, you know, this this is this is our constitution. These are our laws. You know, On and, and, and it's about it's about her freaking money grubby. Corporate Dem- Democrats that corporate are Democrats. Hold, it. holding Say it. Democrats is what's holding this all together. They're no better than the Republican Democrats. I'm getting tired of this hanging on the fence shit. I really am. This The it election grows near and near, and every day we hear more and more shit about this asshole, and we're just supposed to, what, turn a blind eye? Is that what the, is that what the lesson is that we're teaching here? Ah, don't worry about the law. You know, I, we know he's breaking the law. Just keep on with the business. No. No. You think they'd let us go with that shit? You know, breaking the law. Prison. Yes, we'd be in prison. We'd be locked up today. Ain't none of us would get away with this shit. You know, the emoluments uh, clause itself is, that... is 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 blatant in your face. I'm sorry, Belda. Go uh, ahead, John. Yeah. Democrats that are for the impeachment starting, then there are again. They yes. need to remove Nancy and really somebody in there that's got 
balls to do this shit. So, you know, Amen to that. Yo, know, I'm ready. You know, I've been I've been trying to hang on to well, Nancy's got some wisdom here. Maybe she knows what Nancy's she's doing. Well, I'm tired shit. of that shit. He's just a corporate Democrat, and they're no de they're no better than a Republican. Hello, Bellica. How are you, darling? Hello. Are you? Hey, uh, I'm out of breath. <laughs> I'd climb up two flights of stairs. Oh, back shit. Down. Well, catch your breath there, baby. And my knees are killing me. Uh, oh. Oh. Well, I got the uh, I got the T-shirt today. Oh, did you? There you go. There you go. There's the first and one. And the and the balloon. And the balloon. And. And I got the uh, card. There you go, baby. I'm glad you got it. There's more people going to be getting it in the mail too. So, well, good, because yeah. I got mine today. Well, that's good. Some other people should be getting theirs real soon. And and I'm not done. We're done. I mean, it's a long time coming. And I'm way behind on this shit. Uh, but, yeah, I've got a stack of uh, Thomas cards, for one thing. I'm mailing them out, too. Uh, so. Uh, um, I thought I gave you my actual name to put down. But I guess you still use Velico. Right. I confused the uh, confused the mail carrier. Man? Yeah, well, we we only knew you by your alias at the time, so it was like, you know... Uh, uh, I have my real name on uh, YouTube. Oh. And I have my real name on va on Facebook. Oh, okay. We, we'll we talk about that after the show so we can keep aliases up and all that so identities don't get released. Yeah, unless you just don't... Unless if you don't mind. Yeah, it, yeah that's that's the only yeah. reason why I'm like, uh, wait, do you want to say that? <laughs> I didn't address no, it. He we'll addressed wait. it, so I'm, I'm innocent. Ah, look at me. It's all right. It's all right. It's just I didn't put my uh, real name down. That's all. Just oh well. I'm glad you got it, but darling. The other two. The other, yep. There you <laughs> go. My mom seen it. She she thought it was cute. At least <laughs> the balloon she did. <laughs> well, there you go. There I, you go. I sent one out to Lone Wolf. I have not heard back from him yet, and that's starting to worry us a little bit. The Lone Wolf, hey, we haven't heard anything from him. Yeah, Are nobody's heard from him in a while. Yeah, nobody's heard from him in a while, and that makes us all a little bit concerned. But, you know, as Travis was reminding me, well, you know, Daddy, he's a little mysterious. Well, yeah, but we met him in person. We know who he is. <laughs> we can pick him out of a lineup. Uh, but, uh, yeah. <laughs> really we're, we're, quick, before we go any further, we also want to welcome Yogi to the call. How's hey, going, Yogi? Yogi? I'm yeah, sorry, Bob. How's it going? It's going pretty good. How about you? Lone Wolf told me he had contracts on his life still. Who has contracts out? Lone Wolf. Oh, Lone Wolf still has some contract. I wouldn't doubt it. The man knows he's been in some um, pretty high security type shit in his life. Yeah, so, I wonder if it got hit or what. I, I mean, I hope not. I'm, I hope not. I'm kind of shit. concerned too. I'm, I don't that's know. What I'm kind of concerned. He was always trying to work in the shadows there, but. Uh, Lord, I hope everything's all right with him. And if he's out there listening or something, let your Blue Dot family know you're all right, bub. We're worried about you. But uh, anyway, yeah, there's there's I'm some worried. others. There's some others that are going to yeah. get some. Yeah. Uh, I got a uh, long list of people I'm mailing to. It's a good day. I put my ring doorbell thing in there. That's pretty cool. Oh, oh you got you go. one of them? Those are handy yeah. to have on us. Those, that's a nice thing to have. That's pretty oh, good. Yeah, a car drives by my house, I get a notification. There you go. And video to back it up, huh? Yep. Maybe that's what we need. Yeah. Need to think about doing that myself. Put my <laughs> put it out there, put my doorbell out there by the gate. <laughs> you gotta ring it out here. <laughs> it's wise. It it's a ways from the front door to the gate, so to see who was out there. But uh anyway. I thought of you. I thought of you yesterday. What's that? How'd you, uh, good, I hope. Or was you cussing? Or was you cussing? No, no, no. Nine Ooh. free guns. All we had to do was go pick them up over in Jonesboro. Oh no shit! Nine, nine chickens. Goats. 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 Oh, you, goats. God, you got nine, nine goats. Oh. No, we didn't go get them because I don't have a pasture oh. that's fenced for them right now. Oh. And I was thinking of you and your fencing and your lonely, my lonely Jenny, little donkey. and I was like, yes, that would be perfect. Yeah, and that I, it's, it's, it's in best. our it's in our mind. I I have to walk closely though because Mama is. Mama's at that point where, since we've been out here. Uh, if you really took a look at our 
the the the, the pets that we've lost it, it would it looks like a pet cemetery out here it's it's pitiful uh and every time it hits hard and so I, so mama should, not another thing that shits i don't want another thing that shits in this house <laughs> But, she think about the baby goat. Uh, oh, she loved, you know, I'm, I'm just going to give her time. You know, she ain't. Hey, just know this. Um, ah. Check, um, keep an eye out on Craigslist in your area. Yeah. Oh, and yeah. at times they have all kinds of free animals, and you might be able to find a free animal that's, to that's go for true. Jenny. Yeah. With Jenny. Yeah. She, she was so sweet today. I let her out in the front, so she's got the whole front area out there to run around in. She was way up by the gate. And I had just left Travis's house and was coming back on. I had just walked out his door and turned, and he had this little statue of a, what is that? Some lizard oh, shit? Yeah, I don't know where I that I didn't thing, see it there. I don't know where that came from. Yeah. Me and Rose found it, and we were like, oh, look. Yeah, it's well, like I'm a, barefoot, walking out, going to go hit, and all of a sudden, I, I look down, and there's this freaking creature right there at my feet, and it jumped, and I yelled. <laughs> and Jenny, Jenny, as soon as I yelled, she came all the way running, all the way across the yard, diagonally. He hawed the whole way, and she was coming to see what was up with her daddy. She was coming to my rescue. I loved it. It was just so sweet. I had a peppermint in my pocket. I gave it to her. She's my sweetie. It was so there cool. There were a couple of free, um, one alpaca and a llama. Oh, Lord. Yep. Yep. I'm, I'm, I'm going to think about, you know, we're going to think about that, uh, getting another animal for Jenny. Uh, but we're going to give my, Tama, Mama a little time to. Chill out. Forget that. There's plenty of free chickens yeah. too. Yeah. Oh Lord. Yeah, I miss my chickens, baby. I really do. I'd be too afraid to have chickens nowadays, unfortunately. One time, if why? If we'd had the trailer, we could have picked up two free cows. Damn. Fifty chickens, ten rabbits. Just, Holy crap! Just start a just all start a free. farm right there, baby. There you go. That's all you need. You'd be busy all day talking to the animals. One, the cows was going to have a calf. Well, that's we got enough cats around here to. to well, not cats, oh. calf. Oh, calves. Yeah. I have you got Have you got word back from the VA yet? No. Because you needed hearing aid. <laughs> Kiss my butt. <laughs> oh. And then Wayne did. <laughs> and then Wayne did. I need to set an appointment for Wayne to go get <laughs> hearing aids. Yeah, yeah, it's a big topic of conversation around my house. The fact that Dad's deaf. Well, and it's just one of those things. I'm not where... deaf. If people would speak up, I could hear clearly. Uh huh. I got you maxed out over, got over here, here mumbling, in looking. My house here. Isn't it shameful? And then they accuse us of being able not to hear. Them. You know. I'm in your ear with those I headphones. Only, I only, I only one. I have two. <laughs> yes, I can't hear for shit. I knew that though when I retired from the army. They, you know, they give you an exit exam and all that. They took me through a hearing test and all that and said, hey, you're deaf. I said, yeah, no shit. Can't hear you. What'd you say? Uh, no, I have a loss of hearing in my in my right ear, uh, drastic. And that's bad because at night when Mama's watching TV and I go to bed, I'm laying on my right side. And uh, so if my ear is in the pillow, uh, no, I'm sorry, it's the other way around. It's my left ear. Because when my right ear is in the pillow, I can't hear shit. See, I forget what ear it is. I can't hear shit. But uh, anyway, enough about my medical history. What are we going to do about the house? I'm tired of this shit. Warm up. Yeah. Did we have, I have not looked. We've been so, have we getting any uh, responses on the. Uh, Let me go we'll double check that. Yeah. Let go look and see if anybody list. sent us a mail on who do, who we can, whose ass we can jump. What congressman. I forgot about that. Yes, I did too. I, I've been busy with a lot of things, but uh, I haven't checked it been yet. trying to get a phone. <laughs> Yeah, I bet. I'm. I'm just. I was to that point this morning or yesterday evening. I. It, it was time. I was either gonna get a needle or. I'm going out looking for some hard drugs or some shit. Something's got to relieve the pain. So yeah, I got to a point yesterday where I. I had to go and I. I wasn't gonna leave there without a shot. So I just wait. Surprised it took you that long. Yeah. Well, you hey, know, John? I put up with a lot. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, I but, got a question to ask you, and uh, I need your opinion. Uh oh. Honest opinion. Uh oh, shit. Uh, I bought a beer. For, I bought a honey brown lager beer for tomorrow. Is that any good? Oh yeah, oh yeah. No, I got a tall boy that for tomorrow. Oh, but there you go. You're prepared. Yes, yes. I've had one before. Uh, you know. Is it any good? Yeah, yeah. They're pretty good. They're pretty good. Okay. Uh, 
you know, it, there's a, there, you know, depending on who makes it and all that kind of stuff. I'm, I'm looking at mine in there. I have a, uh, uh, a Texas Road or Texas Farm Road beer or a Tecate. Oh. Uh, I think. Local, isn't it? Yeah, I'd have to go in there and look. I got it. I, I still have one more, uh, you know, Jorge Tirebiter fixed me up. Sent me eight beers. Well, he, you got to get a hold of him so we can get some more beer. Yeah, there you go. That's, I, I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna find a spot for his little sign that he sent me that says all Republicans ever do is send you thoughts and prayers. We're your friends. We send you beers. I'm gonna we're gonna <laughs> we've been doing some remodeling in here and I wanna I wanna frame that up because because uh, I like that. What what an attitude. I love that guy anyway. He's crazy. If you watch, wait, you watch Jorge's uh, uh, Facebook feed, it's it, it's always full of shit. So, well, Donna Bonacosi, I see, is in the chat, uh, and she said her beer is chilling for tomorrow. I'm pretty chilling too, Donna. Uh, we were trying One to thing. get we were trying to get her on the uh, Discord. So, Donna, if you're there, uh, Travis, throw that up there on the screen. Yeah. yeah. Again, on your tree. Now, where is that link? It's um, it should be in the description of our stream on Facebook and Periscope. I miss saying YouTube, but that's uh I know it. I miss our YouTube family. Dad was like, You wanna stream the uh the debate tonight? It should be on local yeah. access television. I said, Do you wanna risk another three months? Yeah. I wanted to do the debate tonight because, you know, it was interesting that first time we did it and I think as long as it's on a public airwave station, I don't think we would have a problem, but I'm not gonna do it because there you go. I'm not gonna wanna suffer yeah. for another three months. So uh, Bad idea. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Dad likes Dad likes to push the limit, and I'm more like, no, yeah. let's not. Um, it's safe. So, uh, really quick to everybody who is watching, you can visit this link, uh, linktree or linktree slash blue dot in Texas. That is l i n k t r dot e e forward slash blue dot in Texas. And here you can find everything from how to write um, or be a part of the Write Your Congressman campaign that we're doing once a week or so. We're going to pick a congressperson to write to. Everybody will get together, write a postcard, and tell them if they're doing a good or bad job. Uh, you can uh, join our Discord channel, which is what we're pointing out in this particular instance. Because, uh, Donna Bonacosi, if you just go to this link and you can see this Join Discord and Go Live button, you can click that. And um, it should take you to where you can start uh, to make an account and um, go join our Discord group. And if you already have an account, it should take you automatically to our Discord group and uh, you should be able to go from there. But other than that, you know, you can find our Twitter, our YouTube uh, links, our mailing address if you want to send fan mail. I'm always down for more hats, by the way. Thank you again, Donna Bonacosi, for this awesome hat. And it is cool. It is a cool hat. It's nice and embroidered, too, by the way. I really love the detail. And, uh, yeah. Yeah, so, L-I-N-K-T-R dot E slash Blue Dot in Texas. And you can find all of our good stuff here. Anyway, back. I'm throwing this back to you. Jay says to make the letters more contrast so blind people like him can see it. Let me see here really quick if I can do something about that. There you go. Try to find a blank page oh, to look at there. do that. Google that shit. That's what I always say. And if find something out. Around. Google that shit. Find out what's up with it. Uh, but uh, you're gonna also, to... Tyler should be putting that stuff in the link. If I find him not on here putting links out there for everybody uh, to get, I'm going to kick his seen, butt. I have not seen Tyler. I'm going to tell him in. to do that. I'm going to tell Tyler to put the link in the Facebook chat so everybody can get to it. Anyway, while I do that here, you go. There you go. What? Oh, it's me. I'm back. Uh, yeah, so Donna, if you that's the way you should get there. Uh, and Donna told me to tell you to be nice, Travis. You will be old someday. Yeah, that's right. Probably won't be able to hear shit. He just left the room. <laughs> He's going to go check on his brother. But uh, anyway, Donna, we, I spoke to Donna today on the phone to uh, thank her for the wonderful gifts that she just sent. And, uh, and uh, we're trying to get her on to Discord to be a part of the family and join in the conversation. Anyway, that's what we're trying to do there. But that's the way to do it. It's go to that link tree or whatever it is that he threw up there and go to follow that and get in there. Right, Belda? It's pretty hey. It's pretty easy, right? Yes, it is. There you go. Just click on shit, and that's what, that's what, uh, you know, that's what I get after my brother for nowadays. 
because I got my brother out in Tennessee. I have two of them. One's in a, in a well, they put him in a nursing home now because he's not able to take care of himself anymore. But my other brother has been in a, a class A. I uh, hate future technology shit. He's, he's 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 somebody that we ought to be able to strap a uh, a dial phone with a cord on it to his hip, and and he he probably like that better than the phone he has right now. He is anti-technology and. I keep telling him it's just a matter of hitting buttons. All you have to do is find a picture and hit it. It'll do something, you know, explore, pick something. But uh, we need some picking done. We need to pick some new lawmakers, baby. How's the debate going? It's not started yet. Uh, what time's the debate start? Anybody know? Belka? All right, you're asking me? Oh, I was just I wondering. have no clue. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Well, I should know. Travis is out of the room. Travis is out of the room where I would not know. I think it's in a little while. The 10 debating, and and for the first time, uh, you know, Biden and Warren are going to be on the same stage here, and uh, Bernie, and so we're going to have, you know, Biden's out there talking about uh, you need more than plans. You need, you know, a way to execute those plans, so that's Um, probably where... uh, John? Yeah. Bud man. might know, and Bud, the one man's on the, uh, he's in the blue room now. Okay. Uh, All right. He just posted, the, the debate will be live. He posted the debate. Will be. It's going to be live on a uh, stream on YouTube. YouTube. Yep. See, that's what I was yeah. telling Travis. Uh, he's out of the room, and we'll pull Bud man down here in just a second. Uh, that's what I was telling Travis is if it's streaming on YouTube, then we could stream that channel. And then if anybody got in trouble, it would be that channel. But Travis is very, very wary about it because of, uh, you know, we got one strike. And evidently, if you get to two, three strikes, and they just take your channel away. If you get to three strikes on, a, on a, uh, uh, an infringement, then they just take your channel away, and you can never get it back again. Uh, so we're at one strike, and he does not want to get to number two because then, then you get more additional uh, time put on your uh, ability 8 to go. 8 p.m. Eastern. 8 p.m. Eastern, so that makes it 7 o'clock my time. Oh, yeah, so it's, it's another 45 uh, minutes away. So John's a rebel. Travis is a conservative. Yes, yes. Travis is very conservative. On He is very liberal in, in his uh, in his politics, but in his personal life, yeah, he's, he's uh, very much on the cautious side of everything. That's how come I've always said when my kids take off to Houston or San Antonio, I don't have to worry about shit. Travis is there. Blue eyes. You know, you're not going to cross the street in the middle of the road, going to go down there to the crosswalk. That's the way Travis is. That's the way it is. And it, 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 I'm proud of that, and it makes me feel good. Uh, he doesn't believe in breaking the law, and, uh, you know, he's he's uh, he's a nerd, and I like that. He's got nerd friends, and I like that. You know, and here he comes back in now, so we got to quit talking about him. So. He's got two people. He's got, he's got two people up there, blue eyed dot. And Bud Man. Oh, there. Blue Eyed Dot is Donna Bonacosi. She's up there. Oh, there she is right here. Hello, hey, Blue Eyed. Travis. 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 Your dad was talking shit about you. He always does, but yeah. it's okay. I was saying nothing but him. nice things. That's it. I was saying all those. No. I'm just being a shit disturber. <laughs> Travis is all good. I was, can you I was, hear me? I can hear you well, Donna. How are you, baby? <laughs> I'm good. How are you? I'm doing fine. Thank you very much for the gifts you sent today. You're welcome. I'm so glad I finally figured out how to work this. Yes, we are too. You've been trying to get in here for a while, and uh, I have. And, and I have. Uh, oh, we Donna has been a uh, a Blue Dot family member since oh hell, pretty Probably much the, like beginning, the beginning, ain't it? The beginning. Yeah, the beginning. Yes, I absolutely love this hat. This is now my second blue dot related hat here so uh so I'm, now you got I'm one so for happy my... you like to oh, travel I, I love it thank yeah. you so very He's, much he is where you're welcome right now. that is really i cool. just want to shout out to belder and everybody that comes on thank you i appreciate listening to all you say thank you for all of it that was deep. where's velda oh velda packed out Oh no! Oh, Velda. She's up in the blue room. What's she doing up? She's muted and she's got her. Oh no! That's another one of her accounts. I guess she got disconnected. She'll be back, I'm sure. Oh, oh that's Lord. a bummer. Oh, no. I'm sure she. She's having trouble with her system out there. I hope she don't lose her internet. Damn. I know she needs that for her hubby. Yes. Oh yes. my. Hello, Bud Man. Good. 
How's it going? ABC buddy? ABC's gonna live stream on YouTube. See? ABC's gonna live stream on YouTube. Yeah, but I would not dare to broadcast a ABC's stream on our yeah. I'm just I'm you know, again it. it's three, three months is a scary, scary, scary thing and we're not even halfway through it yet, so it's It is. It, it it's affected us quite quite a bit really. Uh not that we make that much off of it, but boy, how to shit. I'm not even not... talking about the money as much oh, as the I... view count. Like, yeah, the view count is down. we got a whole down. family over there, too, and we just, yeah. you know, they're patiently waiting, and I don't want to keep them waiting yeah. as long as... Um... Drizzles and Nizzles usually on here on Periscope. I yeah. seen well, actually, actually, ABC streaming had a lot of, on a lot of different... Hmm. Good evening, David Ledner. How are you, buddy? Stoked. He's stoked, he says. Uh, yeah, well, I guess I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna bow to Travis's uh, uh, wishes on this one because I, I don't, you know, I, I, I myself, no, I don't want to take chance. Yeah, I don't want to take the chance. They smacked me hard this time, and and uh, and it hurts. And and like he said, we miss our, our blue dot family. I mean, over there because you know the chat over here, it was all Facebook and uh, YouTube, and uh, we don't want to hear that. And uh, yeah, we miss them. And uh, but we we make sure that we upload every episode that we do straight up to YouTube as soon as we're done. So we're getting as close to live as we possibly can. But uh, you know, you still miss miss that input from them. And uh, but on October 28th we will be back again. So yeah, I'm looking forward to that. But uh, anyway, Donna, how are things up there in Massachusetts? You're going to the march, aren't you? I'm going to the march in D.C. There you go. On the 21st of September? Yes. yes. I'm going down to visit my son and my grandson and and to march. And to march. Well, ain't that something? I'm proud of you, baby. I'm glad you're going. Send us some I'm pictures. I'm going to march for everyone. There I will. Go. I will. Send us some pictures because we want to show them up on the screen. Anybody I'm hoping that maybe someone can meet me there. We'll see. Yeah. You never know. Just, you never know. There, there's, there's, you never know. There's been a call put out, so if they're available, they can come. And, uh, yeah, and yeah, it would be great. Anybody want to go, yeah. just message me. I'll send them my number. We can hook up. Yeah, there any, you go. any blue dots going to D.C., <laughs> to, 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 you can hook up with Don Bonacosi and make it a blue dot thing. Uh, That's so, right. Yeah, it'd be cool. You, you got that blue dot on your car, don't you? I do have there that blue go. dot on my I car. Know. Where are you going? I'm, I'm looking oh. for some okay we I'm got looking it. for those Massachusetts blue dots I know there's a lot of them out there oh yes there are <laughs> yes we got uh, as a matter of fact not only uh, uh, Chris Kloss who lives right up there near you uh, I remember yep. one of the first t-shirts I got as a matter of fact it was the second t-shirt I got the first one was a chicken and it says uh, what's up chicken butt and uh, <laughs> so I wore that the first time and then the next t-shirt I got was from a band from the uh, Boston area up there on the South Shore. I guess you know what I'm talking yes. about. Yes. The South Shore. Yeah. And the, yeah. the name of the band is The Pretty Shitty Band. <laughs> pretty That's the name of the band. band. So I got a T-shirt. I'll wear it here pretty soon. And it says The Pretty Shitty Band right on the front up there. And uh, That's such a Massachusetts band name. It, it, I liked band. it the minute I took it out of the box and saw that T-shirt. It said Pretty Shitty Band. I said, damn, I hope they're good. <laughs> So that's a hell of a name, but they're from that area up there. And, uh, yeah, my nephew plays the drums in a band, so oh. we like we're, we were into music too. There you go. Yeah, I've encouraged. Speaking you. of that, that that song that you played. Oh, just just now, just a while ago, Jacobs. Or yeah, that that song kind of tears me up a little bit. Yeah, it's it's a powerful. You know, there's some songs that aren't meant to be feel good songs. They're yeah, meant they're meant to question. Yep you know wh yeah, what reality that's a good is one. it is that's I was a real, good one <laughs> we played it several times last night when he sent it to me and oh yeah uh, those that look on my timeline you can see the conversation below it and i asked him immediately yeah. can we play that on the show yeah i watched it like yeah. three or four times just the, so i could really get it all you know because... well you know travis wasn't here he's not here right now he's out of the room he took a call from a rose uh yeah. last night when i got that travis was at home he was him and rose had gone out for a while so I knew I had to get uh, Jacob's written permission to to play that song, or Travis wouldn't play it. Yeah. 
And, you uh, do. So yeah, I, you I do. put yeah. it in the conversation down there, and I asked him, do we have permission to play this on the show? And he said, yes. So, yeah, yeah it, it is. And, and you, I like the way he, he puts a lot of power in that. You know, the way he plays it. has got a it, little it, bit of Bob Dylan sound. Yeah, it's, he's got a little something cranking <laughs> out there. Uh, he's got a little bit of something going there. Yeah, yeah he, he, he plays it real well. So. Before that, we go yeah, any maybe. further, I got some breaking news from breaking Mom. Breaking news from Mom, my political advisor. You remember uh, Trump's African American? Oh, the the guy that holds up the sign all the time? Well, no, yeah, it's you're no, longer, uh, you're no longer Republican. Nope, no longer. I've seen that. Because remember the old uh, video that was going around? Look at my African American over there. Yeah, yeah, he points them out all the time. Yeah, they're about to talk to that guy on CNN, but uh, apparently he's no longer Republican and he's done with Trump. So, I wonder if that has anything oh to do. Oh my. Uh, <laughs> That was like the most was unexpected on, headline I've ever seen. Saturday ever. Night uh, Live on their Weekend Update thing. I think it was his picture that they held up in, in the, I can't forget the announcer's name, but he's the guy that was on the show. He said, uh, speaking for all black people everywhere, uh, we don't know this guy. We don't know this guy. And he's holding up a sign, Blacks for Trump. There you go. And, uh, but, oh, my. You know, there, there are some there. There, I see him on talking heads occasionally, coming on the news, you know. Uh, so he just changed his party uh, just like that, huh? Yep. He went to a Democrat? Went well, to a Democrat, I guess. Yep. They are, they are dropping like flies. I mean to tell you, baby, they are. And I'm, I'm <laughs> telling you, I think we're going to see more before the election. They are dropping like flies. Yes. Yeah, yeah rats from a sinking <laughs> ship because... You know, the, the handwriting is on the wall. And, and today, yeah. when uh, I can't, I don't know what Republican congressman that was standing over there on, on his side over there, daring and double dog daring this way. I double dog dare you. Go yeah. ahead and impeach him. You know, they're egging it on because they have a feeling that that, that will boost his, his popularity. And I'm the first one to say, isn't that disgusting? If that look happens. At that, look at that shit they just pulled in North Carolina. What the yes, hell is that yeah, crap? Yeah. You know, they tried to steal the election there. Wow. They ended up getting the ninth district, but not not by much. The, 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 oh, uh, my goodness. The spread was you. close. Really quick, before we go any further, we want to welcome Ozzy Dave to oh, the call. Oh, shit. You let him in there again? Yeah. God uh, dog Dave. it. Dave. Ozzy Dave. How are you, buddy? Oh, I might have snuck under the uh, crack. No, oh, that's all right. You know you're welcome here anytime. <laughs> Uh, I want you to meet Donna Bonacosi, who is the blue-eyed dot Dave. right there. The blue-eyed dot, okay. Yeah. Hey, nice okay. to Hello, meet you, Donna. Ozzy. How are you? I'm very good. How is you? How are you right. down under? How is it down there? Um, it's getting warmer. It's, we're warming warmer. up and you're cooling down, I think. Yes, yes, we are. <laughs> yeah, Dave's the opposite of whatever we are. Dave's got the other half. So, so they've yep. got summer and we've got winter coming. Yep, yep. Ain't it so? Yeah. Oh, and just for let's head the heads house and dad and, and to yeah. anybody else who cares, uh, I know you'll care. That's why I'm bringing it up. What? I got an alert on my phone that apparently uh, HBO is about to green light a Game of Thrones prequel uh, series. Oh, really? So yeah, you'll be watching a more. Game shit of, yeah, I will. Mom's gonna watch it, so yeah, yeah, I'll be right there. I don't. That'll be know. interesting. She watches it. I watch it. So yep, a prequel. Yeah. Yeah, it's supposed and to be a prequel. Yeah, that's what they did with Star Wars. They back up and say, oh, it's a good movie. Well, let's show them what happened before that shit. <laughs> well, to, yeah. be, so. to be fair, this it seems like the story before Game of Thrones would be kind of interesting with the Mad yeah. King and all that other shit. Yeah. So it might be worth the watch. Oh, it, it, I, I, I enjoyed uh, Game of Thrones. I really did. I got into it. And, yeah. And, yeah you know, I, I was, never got into it. I wish I did because it sounded like it was really oh, great. It was, so it was real People liked it. Uh, Mama has a hard time to get me down to watch any TV. If it isn't the news or a documentary, then I'm usually thinking about something else or I got something to do. Uh, but uh, she ties me down every once in a while. And when she gets me, she did it the first time with what, Breaking Bad. Oh, yeah. Honey, you got to see this. You got to see this. Oh, okay, I finally brought it down. Okay, let's see what it's about. And then once I started watching it, it was like, shit, when's the next episode? Got to wait? Yeah, Damn. see? Yeah, that's yeah, what happened. That's she got dragged cool. in. Yeah. <laughs> And I did, I did, and then we watched Game of Thrones. So yeah, it gives us a little less time that we could sit on the couch and chill out, which yep, I'm doing right now, go. Donna. 
that's what you should be doing. <laughs> I'm chilling, baby. I'm chilling. I really am. Thank you very much. <laughs> that's uh, great. Good. You sure you're not I am as well. Too much? Uh, no, I'm fine. I'm, I'm <laughs> fine. fine as wine, chilling this. just fine. I'm telling you. Okay. We're there. Baby. We're there. I'm going to sleep well tonight. Uh, my That's shoulder's good. not hurting to boot. And uh, That's good. I got some, uh, I'm hoping, uh, I just talked to uh, David Robertson out in Everett, Washington the other day, and he was telling me, he's a, and he's a, a doctor, was a doctor, he's retired now, and, uh, you know, he's been using that CBD uh, an oil rub or a cream for external use on his shoulder. Yeah, the we... Gronk care is pushing that stuff. The football player, the Gronk, is he's that pushing right? that stuff big time. Oh, yeah. Yeah, well, David, you know, he's the guy I met up in, up in San Antonio, one of them. And, uh, you know, he, yep. he, I was talking to him on the phone the other day, and he was telling me that shit's really working for him. It, it's supposed to work really well. Yeah. So maybe you should try that on your maybe shoulder. I, maybe I should try that. Sure, because yeah. that was... Today, that was the first words, Dave. Ozzy, he said, uh, well, are you ready for a shoulder replacement? That was the first words out of my doctor's mouth. Same doctor. Really? For, yeah, same doctor that's for a long time, though. He knows. That's a big operation. It is. I'm not looking forward to this shit, and, uh, you know, I'm going to put it off and delay it as long as I can. I don't, you know. So, uh, you, uh, uh, did you asked him if he had anything to remove Trump lumps? Yeah, <laughs> really. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what <laughs> politics he is. I, I don't venture there with him. I do with the nurses, but not him. I don't know his political so, persuasion, and I don't want to piss him off. <laughs> uh, I was going to say, yes. He's the one. Ozzy, Ozzy, Dave, who do you like right now with our, with our candidates? Who do you Elizabeth like? Warren. Elizabeth yeah, Warren. Yeah, I like her, too. Yep. I, I agree. I'm, I'm, I like I'm, her, too. Yeah. She has been She's moving up. Plan. She has. She's got a plan for everything. Tonight, she does, and she, she does it with such positivity. Yes, and, and, and she's uh, so positive. That's, that's right. What confidence. I like about her. That's what the yeah. confidence is. What she's so, and that's what I've always said from the first time I ever met my wife. Is you know what looks good on a woman? Confidence, baby. Confidence. Yeah. Yeah. It looks yes. beautiful. And she's on not a woman. corporate either. No, no. She's she's you know everything she spouts is, is uh, you know they're trying to pin it with socialism. These out of sight uh, dreams that the de Democrats have, baby. If we don't dream, who's yeah. going to dream? Who's going to dream if we don't? You, you know who my ticket would be, and I'm sure that if it, this is just my opinion, and I'm sure right. that everybody's going to sure. be tagging that thing, but it's just my opinion. But the ticket to kill Trump would be maybe Biden and Warren, or Bernie and Warren, or yeah. hooking those, some two of these candidates up together. You know, I, I'm, I'm going to probably I'm, kill. I would hope that. Would amen. Kill him. Because I'm, I'm going to say, and I've said this before. If anybody looked look back at the videos a long time ago, I've said this before. If we want that powerful ticket, then the, you know, the, it's like the two people that are at the top of the list should join right. forces. We have, we have, right. you have. That's a, what I say. A mass, you know. So, but the only problem there is one of them's got to give up the presidency to go for presidency, VP. Presidency, correct. But, uh, you know, correct. so that's what, that's what the fight is all about. That's but what hey, the, you know, for the good of the country, that's right. take that's what the I hit. Say. <laughs> take the hit, that's what I say. Take the hit. Because, you know, imagine what we could do with the power of, uh, that's what I'm, I, I want. Every one of these candidates, as they drop out, I don't want them to drop off the screen, baby. I want them out there yelling for oh, the Democrats. Yeah. You know, they're going to get out them. there and they're going to do something. That Buttigieg is going places. Yes, someday. he is too. Yeah, the, you know, the, yeah, the people Beto, that, they're making I a mean, name for for their future. You know, these people yeah. are, are going to be remembered. And, I get a uh, kick out of Bill Mayer the other night. He had T-shirts. He said the new models for the candidates and um, um, Beto's sending one that says "fuck." Well, I don't know if I can say that, but it's <laughs> oh, yeah. there it's you go. About Where's Velda? On the back Stop of me, Velda. Oh, she's not here yet. <laughs> Where's Velda? She lost. We miss you, Velda. Uh, no, you're you know. no, you can say it anytime you want, darling. It's well, I'm just saying that's what it says, like, fuck yeah. something on yeah. the back of his shirt. I have it and written I'm like, right over he, my shoulder he's right actually, here. He's actually selling those T-shirts, and I said, I want one of those. There you go. There you go. I, I like to wear some of my T-shirts to town just to see the reaction of who's walking towards oh, me. Oh, yeah. I wear my T-shirts I can, I can everywhere. Oh, Liberal I mean. Nana. I care yes, and I vote, teach peace, um, all the shirts. I wear them all. <laughs> there you go. And I, people just look. 
Yeah. No one really says anything. Hey, one time I walk, to stimulate conversation. That's all. I wore my <laughs> pussy hat into the into the mail mail into the post office. This was like right when we were like we're, I went to the woman's spot. So I wore my pussy hat into the post there office. There you go, baby. And this guy was standing in front of me and he turned around and he looked at me and he goes, "So I guess you're not for Trump." And I looked at him and I go, "Does it look like I How's am?" It, yeah, really. And he goes, you know, I used to be a Democrat. Well, now I'm Republican. I said, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> you know what I tell him? I said, oh, I'm sorry. I tell him I'm, I'm going to pray and for you. And he started to like, no, he started to ramble to me. And I said, I'm done. Yeah, I walked out of the line. I'm yeah. done. Yeah, that's usually my party shot to somebody. Well, I'll pray for I you. I used to be a Democrat, but now I'm Republican. Yeah. I was like. I'm sorry. You need, you, you need to go to a doctor. Maybe they have a cure for that shit. Maybe a pill or something you can take to get the hate out of your heart. That's the way I, you know, it, it's it's Jacob's song, you know, talking about hate. It, it, and it, yep. it, we see that all over the place now, in, in that hatred. And uh, No, I don't like it. And, and we're not like going to get all. rid of it until he's gone because he's perpetuating yeah, I know. it all the time. But no, you, went, you know what? And I just think it's it's... Now we really see, like I've never saw this kind of stuff before. Right. So now we really see it, and it's it's going to be here even after he's gone. Yeah. I mean, how are we going to deal with it after? That's what, I, baby. We're going to have years That's what to I'm repair. Concerned about. You can deal with it. It just sets you back forty yeah. or fifty years in your progress of getting rid of that crap. Yes, exactly. What's That's happening. awful. It is all it's the terrible. stuff that we can that we achieved with Obama. I mean, I'm just devastated. All the about stuff all we achieved it. all the way back when Nixon was in there. No you know, kidding. All the way back so from there forward when when uh you know, we, when a lot of things changed in this country. And and then we backslid baby all the way down into the gutter and into the slutty shit down there with Donnie and his wife and shit. Look at here. Yikes. Look where we are. Oh my. Really I'm bad, telling you. Bad, bad, bad. Bernadette knows. I see she snuck into but, the room. I want to tell all the blue dots out there, don't worry, we're all going to stick together. That's it, baby. That's it. All for one, one for all. That's it. This family grows every day. And we're just tick we're tickled to death that we finally got you on the air. So. Oh, I'm pretty tickled, too, but yeah. I feel really weird. <laughs> no, no, I love your accent, baby. I tell her that all the time. I tell her on the phone, too. I love her accent. You know, it's, a, <laughs> it's that Boston accent. It's that, what you would expect that Bostonian to hear. Did oh, I say I that right? A Bostonian? Yeah. Bostonian. There you yeah. Go. I'm going to be back in just two seconds. i got to take something down for Rose. I just huh? have to call, so I'm going to go right back. Okay. You got it. Okay. Go ahead. Yeah. Abandon your post again. That's yep. all right. I got this shit. Yep. Yeah. Go ahead and leave me here. All you. alone. So, Leo must not be out tonight. He's probably dragged out from cleaning out those gutters. Oh, he's been cleaning gutters, has he? <laughs> he was cleaning gutters for the last couple oh, of days. no, 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 no. You know how to keep away from actually, doing that? Don't have. He had, he had trees growing out of his gutters. Yeah, I don't have gutters. That shit just rolls right off the roof and right onto the ground down there. I'm, I'm way high. Oh, well, that's here. cool. Yeah, we yeah. got gutters. I hate them. I, I understand yeah. what Leo's going through. It's a nightmare. Oh yeah, yeah. But he has little. That, um, that um, your military numbers have increased. Everyone wants to join the, the uh, air force over there and. Hey, you get, you get a free choice, you get a free trip to a Trump uh, Hotel, Bribe Collection Center. Yeah, yeah. It's, a new, it's a new perp they're, they're pushing, you know, join the Air Force. Watch, out, watch out for the bite bugs. Yeah, no you shit, watch out for the bed bugs. bugs. Right, right. Mm -mm. Yeah, that's, uh, that's <laughs> under investigation now, and I understand it's not just that one occasion. Evidently, there's been a lot of that shit going on. Of uh, Quite a bit. Yeah, quite a bit of uh, stopovers Ooh. near his properties. And that puts a that puts a crew in, in in you know in dire need of some uh, accommodations. And what better and $11 way? Eleven million dollars worth of fuel refills. Yeah, yeah, for for and a fuel stop. An airport, and an airport that never used to really see a military flight. Maybe, I think the flights um, landing there and the refueling has gone up from like you know uh, maybe fifteen or twenty per month to something like two hundred fifty a month. Yeah. Yeah, it's stepped up a Big lot. Numbers. And how do you go from being four point three million dollars in the hole to plus three? <laughs> We're up to people. Yeah, with lots of people. <laughs> we are now with over a trillion people. dollar yeah. deficit now. And yeah. that is expected to go up next year. Yeah. By another trillion. 
uh, th thanks to your... Did you hear today he didn't let the tariffs go into effect yet? Yeah, yeah. And China true. said, oh, America's in good faith. I'm like, yeah, yeah. okay, what yeah, the I hell? He's getting his ass uh, in his sling. We're talking about Trump, who yeah. lies with every other breath. Yeah. Every right. breath, baby. He don't take a breath. If China knew what the hell that they was doing, they wouldn't trust his ass. No, right. no. Right. How can you negotiate with shit like that? You know? You can't. You can't. No. Because he, no. for A, it, 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 it doesn't matter what you come up with. It's all all what greases his palm, what puts it in his pocket. What kind of, you know, that's what I think goes on a lot, this shit. He's itching to get a deal with North Korea. Not to make peace, to listen to him, he wants to put up condos. Yes, yeah. he wants to develop North <laughs> Korea. Yes, that's what they he's have, talking about. They have very beautiful beachfront yep, property. Beachfront <laughs> property, we could do business here. That's what it is. It's mm. not anything to do with peace and all that shit. No. Well, no, it's about since hey. When did America, since when did America become a um, a hotel company? Yeah, with the minute know. he when, swore in. When we elected his dumb ass. That's about it. When he was swore in, that was it. It, it was all, you know, what, baby, something America come really out strange. of my mouth. <laughs> yes, yes, ever since he got the office, it's been this way. And, and, and not just him. Hell, it's the whole family. You know, Ivanka in yep. China, she's over there getting getting patents left and right, deals being made all around the world on Trump properties and shit. Trump branded and, properties. And patents on voting machines. Yeah. Oh well that's just for gravy. You know, we've got some you know, this it Because they plan on being a dynasty if they could rig the machine. If they can rig this election, yeah, baby, yeah, they that's what they're looking at. Yeah, they'll win. You know, if you get him in there for another four years. And they laugh at that, you know, at his little rally the other night. He was talking about uh, he, he loves it when he talks about more a than third term. Yeah, third term because it just drives the Democrats yeah. crazy. You know, uh, it should drive anybody crazy who loves this country and, and, and loves the Constitution. Like all them Republicans used to say they did. You know, they used to say all sorts of patriotic American loving things and and uh, and were worried about the, the, the physical responsibility and the moral judgment and the moral compass of the country and all the other bullshit that they've sold for freaking years is nothing but a sham. It's a con and, job. And now they've got... And now they resign from public office because they don't want to be on the ticket with them. Yeah, yeah, a lot of them are, baby. And we're not done yet. I, I think before, you know, it's still a year away. So I think that uh, before then, I think we're going to see a few more that want to spend some time with their family and, and stuff. Rather What's than, this bullshit that he says he doesn't want to debate? Yeah, oh, he doesn't. That's how come they're trying to primary, uh, do away with the primaries in all the red states. What a cowardly He bastard. don't want to. He, he doesn't even want to debate the Democrat. No, That's he what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. he doesn't want to debate the Democrat. Oh, he my. doesn't want to debate anybody. I don't know. He's going to have to, though. He, he crawled up Hillary's ass, but he don't want to debate the yeah, guy. No, He's no, going to no, have to. No, because, because they're, they're prepared for his shit. You know, yeah, that's you know oh, a yeah. lot of us were still amazed during his campaign because every time he got up there on a debate or anything, he was opening his mouth and and shit would just fall out and vomit would go all over the floor and everything and everybody was yeah. out here thinking, yeah. not a chance, not a chance. That's what I said. Yep, Whoa. that's what I was saying, baby. I'm the first one that's to admit it. I did I not. Said. You know, it hit me like a ton of bricks when <laughs> when he got elected. I did I not cried. think. We didn't know John I, I, was that. I hit the floor. He backed by Russia. Yeah, we didn't know yeah. that. We didn't know that at that time. Yeah, no, we did not We know did that. not know we that. We know that now. And, no, and we those, did not. And in, in those states, because really when you get down to brass tacks and look at uh, at where the voting was and all that shit, uh, mm -hmm. it, it, he did not win by much in every no, state. No, he didn't. So no. if you're one of those in those states that, that voted for this asshole based on some kind of bullshit you heard on the Internet or some shit, chances are that was a damn yeah. Russian bot okay. just trying and to and drive that away. Don't win the popular vote. Yeah. Don't win the popular don't vote. So, uh, don't be so disappointed by the North Carolina vote the other day. Because yeah. he has to run again in 2020. Yeah, good. And, good. Uh, and that good. and that was real tight. That was tight Ugh. in a in a in an area that wanted, went by for Trump. By, uh, in, in a that was way. like a couple of points. points. Yeah. <gasps> yeah. What, what's that, Dave? He won by 12 points before. Yeah. Now he only won by two. Yeah. Two points. So that's a cross. He's on TV. He's on TV oh. sprouting that it was a better result than mm -hmm. last time. Did but I want to know. Is who sat home on the couch and didn't vote? Oh, there, there 
There what? were a lot of Democrats. I think it was 25,000 was the last uh, count that I heard that did not go out uh, and vote in this. In this uh, oh, and you only won by 25. Yeah. That we didn't have and, and, no and, at the time. Well, you'll have to chalk that up to it being an off year and a special election and all yeah, the rest maybe. of that. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. You know, people, yeah, yeah, yeah. people lost interest after, you know, 20 months of yeah. campaigning. Right, right. Yeah. 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 yeah, well, we're in a, yeah. we're in a perpetual campaign. They nowadays. get people get burnt out. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they do. Not not me though. No, not me. I'm, I can't afford to. I'm I'm I'm, I'm taking in this him shit down. every day. Down. No, <laughs> no, I'm taking him down. He ain't gonna win he this. Ain't one. Gonna, no, uh, you're not doing <laughs> no this twice, way. baby. No, I'm no, I'm not. I'm not putting up with this. But no. this show ends after <laughs> when we yeah, get his it, ass out. Uh, when his ass is well, gone. Well, no, it won't end then because but it'll be much more cheerful. We'll be demanding for action for all the shit that he's t he's you know done away with everything that we have to repair. And yes, yeah, Karen. Get all the blue dots together. Yes. Oh, wouldn't that be great? Mm -hmm. You got to remember also that at uh, North Carolina is one of your heaviest gerrymandered areas. Yes. Yes, no yes it is. Yeah. yeah. It's like Texas, baby. It's gerrymandered out the ass. You know. Yeah. And and that really hurt when the Supreme Court refused to take that up because their 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 reasoning was that it was uh, well that's a state issue thing bullshit oh there yeah are, right. there are there are federal the election laws <laughs> concerning uh bias oh. you know you you can't oh. stop somebody from voting because they're black because there's a law yeah. for that shit and no. and it's a federal law so don't well, tell me the court there, can't there intervene. used to be a there used to be a law for that shit. yes there <laughs> was baby yes there was and then and then even after that right that's what I mean. It's always been a constant fight, because even when they got the right to vote, well, then we had Jim Crow laws. How many jelly beans are in this jar? You know, it, it's bullshit. You know, uh, that was harassment over the years. So it, it, it's a continuous fight, and we got it going on today, as much as it was a hundred years ago. We, you know, it's a, it's a fight that will really never end because the the, the cockroaches will never end. They say the cockroach nope. will will outlast the uh, the nuclear age you know and i can believe that because there'll probably be some stupid ass redneck cockroach down humping in a cave or something and he comes out and everybody's as, dead as long as they're teaching their children yes that's what yes, it is they there it is yes as long there as they is. teach their kids that we're not going to get away you know that's the away truth from right there she just said it yeah. that's it right yeah. there as long as one teaches I, another i haven't met our newest member i don't know her name this is this this is uh who Donna oh, Bernadette, Bernadette, that, Donna. I'm sorry, baby. This is Blue Eyed Dot. This is Donna Hi, Bernadette, Bonacosi. honey. Donna, Hi, Bernadette, I've heard so honey. much about you. <laughs> I Bernadette, I've heard your voice on the chat all the time when I I'm watch here. your shows. Thank you, Dolly, for being there. Thank you, sweetie. <laughs> and, John, I have to say thank you for the gifts. I got my package. Oh, did you get your too? <laughs> See? I'm yeah. mailing, baby. I'm mailing. I'm mailing. There's more <clears throat> coming. There's other people's going to get one, too. I'm glad you my like little, it. My little protester was so excited to see the Trump baby. Oh, there you go. You can carry that balloon in the parade, baby. Yeah. <laughs> to blow it. it up right now. Oh, man, there it is. I got mine hanging over here. And, uh, yeah, yep. yeah, I'm, I'm trying to get to as many as I can. Uh, the, 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 I've got a lot of envelopes going out, but but we we got we had some packages going out, so they must be making a lot of money on those balloons. I bet they are. <laughs> I bet they are. Uh, I'm Hello, you, in China? big fan of yours, Johnny. I don't know where they are. The t-shirt. <laughs> what's oh my t-shirt? That's uh, <laughs> what's that? The uh, the the uh, neutron, proton, electron, and that and then oh the, my t-shirt. The are you shitting me? Oh that Your one. My t-shirt. Your t-shirt. That you yes. like that one? Are you shitting me? Yes. Now you can wear that in private. It. I will too, absolutely. And I can't wait to get my Naruto shirt. Oh, there you go. That's right. You got a Naruto coming. That's oh, yeah. where are they at? Cause I need, gonna... I need, John. I need that damn Trump doll so I could bang it all day. This one? The, 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 the I, damn I it doll. I want the, Randy I want the, just so I can see. This thing comes in handy doll. sometimes. You know, I have used it in frustration. I have. I want Randy punch. so he can beat up. I go, Randy, hit the doll. <laughs> hit Please. the doll. Yeah. Whack the doll. Oh. Oh, God Whack knows. the doll. I'll tell you what. I, I, I'm, I'm so 
<laughs> oh man, I, see, I could go down this road real easy. I look around. All I have to do, baby, is look around me, and look around and see the love that this family has shown to me, and it just it amazes me. Uh, I've got mail out the wazoo. I've got messages. I've gotten gifts. It's just, you know, it's. Well, yeah, I mean, I always, us, I always, I always, always. That's all that matters. You know, it, it's it, it's like who doesn't love Christmas? But th it's beyond that. You know, <laughs> it, it's one thing to get a gift, but then, you know, it it. it, it it's it's it just I love y'all for it. Thank y'all very much. Every everything I've gotten that I'm well, thank surrounded you. by. Thank you, thank yeah. all, all of our blue dots out there, all of them. We're thank every one of them because they're all doing their part one way or another. That's it. Every one of them. Claudia, Martha, Karen Cormier, Kathy Larkin. Yeah. I mean, I could call them all out. There's yeah. just tons of them out there doing their stuff. Carrie. Every, and every uh, one of them care. That's the best thing. They care just, and, and they yep. vote. That's every the important. Every one of them. Every one yep. of them. They I, care and they vote. So. Well, I'm going to go watch the debate. It's going to be on soon, so i got to get myself my popcorn. <laughs> there you go. Get your popcorn ready. Uh -huh, I know what you're doing. Uh -huh. Get and ready I hope, like, And I hope, like Martha says, they debate and not tear each other yeah. apart. Yeah, I hope, I, mean? I hope there's none of that. I'd rather see a good let's, debate on the issue. Let's talk about stuff the issues yeah right. I, I, I hate to see any more attacks out there but donna again thank you so much uh darling good night for the, john the good night ozzy down under good night bernadette it was very nice meeting you very good night nice travis to meet you. good night Love glad you made it in and yes Love we're glad you everybody. got here so don't make yourself a stranger yeah please come back asap i will, I will. Love right. to you all, all right. bye love bye. to you too donna bye-bye bye-bye donna she is a character i just love that accent I went, my hey, one did you hear the latest uh -huh. that um, they've just they done a test on Trump supporters and they found that um, one in three Trump supporters is as stupid as the other two. I figured, I thought I heard about <laughs> they was doing a study on that shit. I'm glad they finally figured that shit out. Three of them are just as dumb as the first one. That's the way you feel oh, sometimes. How can they keep holding on to that? He's having a rally tonight in Baltimore. Who's showing up? You know, it, it, I would be embarrassed to show up there to have my face out there. Hell no, I wouldn't go. Uh, it just, you know, I don't know how any patriotic American can go. They've been fooled, they've been conned, they've been lied to. And, and, and some of them are just in it for the racism shit. Some are in it because, oh, he's a, he's, a, he's a celebrity from reality TV or some bullshit like that. I can't believe that That they has would a be. lot to do with it, John, believe it or not. You know, I grew up in, in Hollywood. And just to stand next to somebody, you know, is a big oh. thing. Yeah, so, we got to get yeah. them. Well, it's it like has a it, lot to do with it. Yeah, that's why Ivanka is making the world tour, trying to get her picture with every world leader she can, because she's going to use them in ads. You know, she's going to sell that shit. As look at me, I, I'm a player on, on, on in in the world stage here. No, you're not. Yeah. You're a prop. No, they, is they what can't you are. Stand her. No, she's a parasite. Yes, yeah, she's a parasite, and uh, you know that's that's what. Uh, Politics means, right, Dave? You, you you know what politics the word comes from? No. It's a, it's it's made from two words actually. The first word is is the Greek word poly, meaning uh, mm -hmm. many, and uh, ticks or blood sucking parasites. So there you go, politics. Yeah. Many blood sucking parasites, and that's I like that's that. politics, no. baby. Uh, I got to give credit to. Uh, uh, I, who was that? I had a friend going to the, a Trump rally and when he was going for an election, but he's kind of like a, a shit disturber type person. Yeah, I you know I just have to wonder who's showing up there tonight. You know, is it the hey, guy? Well, look, the guy with the I'll rebel flag on his truck and shit. Be there. Who? My pen's going to be there. Oh, is Pence going too? Uh, no, no, he's uh, not going. Yeah. He's going to start his own rallies. He, I reckon. I reckon somehow Mr. Pence and Mr. Trump are going to come to loggerheads. They're going to start butting heads real soon. And one of them is going to abu end up abusing the other. And I think personally, Trump wants Pence out because he was, he's got plans on someone else. I don't know who it is. Yeah. Whether it's Ivanka or, or um, this other woman from the UN, but he doesn't want Pence there, does he? No. No, no, he doesn't. No. He, he wishes, uh, uh, what's her name would run for him, I think? Uh, Nikki Haley. Haley. Yeah, Nikki Haley. Yeah. He yeah. really liked her. And Nikki Haley is somebody who has uh, a following, you know, her name recognition, and, and she's not known as a dumbass. So Nikki Haley is somebody Let's that... Let's get Sarah Palin. 
Yeah, let's get Sarah Palin. Now, yeah, she's getting a divorce. She's available, I understand. All, all them little Trumpies would just like, oh, she's single? Well, I'm going because I might have a chance. Yeah, that's what they all... Really quick, Dad, just a random thought. Just want to hear you out on this really what? quick. What? So the debate starts in five minutes. Right. We've been recording for an hour and a half. Right. Um, everybody's probably going to go and watch the debate. Do you want to keep going or do you want to stop here in a second so you can watch the debate and maybe post on Facebook or tweet during the thing? Mama was hoping I would get down in time to come watch the debate with her. Well, let's all all watch the debate and then we can talk about the debate in the next program. Hey. Yeah. You want to do that? Well, the next program. Well, he said next program. Oh, next program. Yeah. Yeah, Oh, there will probably be plenty to rant about. Oh, yeah. Uh, I, I won't lie. I, I do want to watch it, uh, and since he's not going to let us broadcast it here, uh, nope. Well, sorry. Cool. Yeah, <laughs> he's holding firm on that. You can, uh, you know, just got to understand. I don't want another three months on no, YouTube jail. No, uh, no, no. We miss our YouTube family, and that's a good time to call them out, baby. We miss y'all over on YouTube he every is, time. Who is going to live stream it? Huh? Who is? Who's? CBS. It's oh, on CBS. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Just my producer's not going to let me do it. <laughs> I've given him. Now, to... just before before you go, John, when you lock it, when you close the show down, uh-huh. another fact, another fact this study found before you close the show is that they also found when Trump entered the presidency, the label on the back of his head said thirty five percent fat, sixty five percent said narcissistic disorder, and now the new label reads one hundred percent fat and one hundred percent narcissistic disorder. Yeah. <laughs> Please there it is. throw in wash with lots of bleach. <laughs> That's him. That's, That's him. him. Yeah, so, made in China. No, da- no darks with the whites. No, no. Made in Russia. Yeah, made in Russia. More, more precisely. He's, he's got the ruble tattooed on his ass, mm-hmm. is what it is. But uh, yeah, it, it, it should be a good debate tonight. I'll be doing my rant tomorrow. We'll be back here. Oh, Sunday. 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 Uh, we'll be back, right. and uh, I want to thank everybody. Uh, Linda Douglas, Monica Burns, thank you for coming in. Bonnie Childs, Val Wood, baby, we're out there. We know Mitch is out there. Uh, Joy Peters, thanks for stopping in. Uh, Tammy Ames, baby, thank you very much. Tammy's helped us out in the past with some specific shit. Anyway, we have a big, large family. It grows every day. Uh, and, and, and I thank everybody for the little gifts that I get and, and the notes that I get. But the most precious thing you give me is your time to take an ear and be involved and, and be in this fight. Our Blue Dot family grows every day. I'm so proud of that, and I'm so proud of the people in it. We are all fighting for the same thing, and we're all fighting for each other. And uh, ain't nobody going to do it but us, baby. So we have to keep the pressure on all the time. Uh, much love to our whole Blue Dot family here in the United States and abroad. And uh, so we'll be back on uh, Sunday Live. I'll be get the beer and bud ready. I know some people already are getting already. They're getting a jump start on us. Uh, but get everything ready, baby, and we're going to let it crank tomorrow. And, uh, and, and y'all have a wonderful weekend. I love all y'all. And uh, take care, and we'll Good see night, y'all John. later. Well, I'm, I'm hang on in the Discord room. We're going to be right with See, that's the benefit of being on Discord, baby. We shut down the show, but we still have a little chat. So that's when we start talking about everybody else is when we get in the Discord chat. So but uh, so y'all have a a good weekend, and we'll talk to y'all on Sunday. See ya.